but when you go to these appointments be prepared to be naked in front of them <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, I am Carissa, and welcome to my channel. So today, I want to talk about my experience so far with um, my journey for plastic surgery. If you don't know, I had weight loss surgery a year ago in December, and I've lost 80 pounds, and now I have a lot of skin, and I want to get some plastic surgery done. So if you're interested in this video and want to hear more, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and let's get into it. So if you're interested in plastic surgery, I definitely recommend to go on realself.com. I'll have it linked here and in the description box. That website is going to be able to give you all the information you need to find some doctors, plastic surgeons. So all you have to do is just type in what you're looking for or type in your zip code, city, area, you know, and it will search for you and you can search it and filter it how you want to see like top rated. On that website you'll be able to see if the doctor has any coupons for any specials that are currently going on. So make sure to check out that. So I definitely highly recommend that website and you can see all the reviews on any doctors you're interested in. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I'm getting. I'm getting a tummy tuck, a breast lift, 360 lipo, and lipo up my back in the bra area, and then any fat that they get from the lipo to transfer it to my butt. That way I have a good proportions going on. Another thing I did before uh, meeting with any surgeons is I joined some Facebook groups. I joined a couple like plastic surgery groups So a few that I joined was the tummy tuck support group and more and I joined the tummy tuck support group And then I also joined no BS tummy tuck advice So join some groups on Facebook so that way you can search for your area in the groups or you can just ask general like questions like is anyone in the state and who would you recommend? You can ask those type of things and you can also learn a lot of what other people are going through in their recovery or in their journey. Those are the two things I recommend to find a surgeon in your area. Now you meet these doctors. So I chose to see three different surgeons. So the three doctors that I saw, I ended up choosing the last one and you'll hear my story why. The first doctor was great. He's part of Dr. Miami's squad, um, but he's up here in Maryland and he was very nice. His staff was very nice as well, um, but everything that I wanted to get, he was like out of my price range and, and I was like, like, oh no, like, I got really like upset because I was like, I'm not going to get everything that I wanted done. And I figured if I'm going to go under and pay money, a lot of money, I want to do everything I want right then and there. So he was way too expensive for me. And then on top of that, like after meeting with the other two doctors, I realized like he didn't spend a lot of time with me. Um, he took pictures and said, oh yeah, this is what we'll do. And then you can see my coordinator. And I was like, oh, okay. So it was like five minutes. The second doctor included everything that I wanted. And the biggest thing from the first doctor and the two other doctors is that the two over here on this side, they have their own OR um, surgeon room in their building. So, and this doctor uses a hospital. So I had, that's why the price is a little bit higher because I have to pay hospital fees and overnight and that stuff. So the second doctor included everything I wanted and he was great. Like he took his pictures and uploaded it to the monitor that was in my room and he showed me everything that he was going to do and spent a lot of time with me. And then afterwards I met with his coordinator and she gave me a tour of the OR and gave me my price. So I was like, oh, okay, like after this I felt better. I'm like, okay, I think I can afford this. So we'll see. Then I met with the third doctor. I gave him the second quote that I got and said, well, this guy is offering to do all this for this amount. Is there any way you can match this or anything? So he did some numbers and he was able to come like about $800 cheaper than the second one. Now the third doctor, he, he did not take any pictures. Um, 
his thing was if you were going to schedule um, a surgery date and place your 500 deposit, then he would have you come back and do pictures. And most doctors require like a $500 deposit to hold your surgery date. He didn't take any pictures, but what he did was drew everything out on my paper and just showed me everything that he was going to do and spent a lot of time with me too. So that's why I ended up going with him and I actually have a few clients and co-workers that I know he's done their work and I know his work is good and so I trust him. But when you go to these appointments, be prepared to be naked in front of them. <laughs> like you'll have a gown on, but you have to take your bra off, but you can leave your underwear on. Some of them give you their underwear to wear, like throwaway ones, but just be prepared to be naked in front of them because you're gonna show them everything that you want done. I went on my groups and I was looking at things I need to get for the surgery and they have a list like pin thing list of things to get so I'll show you what I got. I ended up getting a zero gravity chair and this kind of reclines and I don't have a recliner and they recommend sleeping in a recliner for at least two weeks. Everyone's different. I so with the tummy tuck you're gonna have a drain and you can't take a shower with the drains from what I think I know. So I got baby wipes to wipe myself up. I got puppy pads to lay on the chair. That way, if I leak anywhere, I'm not ruining the chair. I bought these lanyards. That way I have something to hold my, my drain up because I don't know if I'm gonna have it attached to anything. So I bought some lanyards just in case. I bought some maxi pads without wings. That way I can put them in certain areas that may be leaking so I don't ruin any clothes. And, oh, I did buy this go girl thing. That way, if I can't get up and down easily, I'll be able to pee standing up. I know it sounds so weird, but that <laughs> might come in handy. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I bought so far. Other people recommended like a tray or like a little table where you're going to be stationed at so you can place things there. Little grabbers to grab things. Um, some other people like listed like toilet seat razors so you don't have to sit so low and even like shower things to assist you take a shower. I don't think I'll need them. I'll have someone here to help me so I don't know but those are a few things that I've seen in some of the groups. Other than that, I think that's all I have to say. I will be documenting my journey so make sure to subscribe so you can see those future videos and see how I'm doing. My surgery is February 19th. I'm super excited and just send some vibes, some healing vibes for me for that time.